Welcome to Assembly Festival. Please turn your mobile phones to silent. After the show, check out edfest.com to leave a review and for exclusive offers for the best shows on the fringe from seven of the major venues. Thank you and enjoy the show. Please welcome to the stage, Wato. <laughs> <laughs> Grogrus and Grogras, please welcome to the stage, Wato. <laughs> oh, a standing ovation now. <laughs> you are too kind. What is it? It looks like a stand, and you keep clapping. You're still clapping. <laughs> And people are rising to their feet this late at night. You see multiple shows, and yet you are not yet. This is, oh, come on. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing. 15 more seconds. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Unbelievable. Organic. Spontaneous. I am touched to my core. Hello, welcome. This is the uh, audience warm-up for the George Lucas talk show. This is, you see this kind of thing at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival? This is very popular with American stand-ups. Wire business. I don't know if that's big here. People are, it's more one-man show, one-person show, storytelling. You're not doing this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Big in the States. I'm trying to explain some of the cultural differences. We drive on this side of the road. You drive on this side of the door. This is warm up. <laughs> differences, differences. Who here has ever been to a live television taping before? Great. Okay, so then you know exactly what to expect. That is the only context necessary for this show. For the rest of you. Uh, raise your hand if you have ever, in any form, witnessed the George Lucas talk show before. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to do the flip. Raise your hand. I'm surprised at this guy wearing the George Lucas talk show. Hat and shirt. Has witnessed the George Lucas talk show before. I should have brought the poster as well. Folks! Raise your hand if you have no idea what you're about to see tonight. This is your first exposure to the George Lucas talk show. Okay, okay. Did you just walk in? Great. What do you think this is? And there are no wrong answers. This is educational. This is a learning experience for all the people in the same boat as you. Nailed it. I would say that is 99.9% .9 correct. <laughs> With more wire business. <laughs> no, here's what it is. Uh, George Lucas, heard of him? Yeah. Billionaire, philanthropist, genius storyteller. For many years, he ran several very successful film franchises that we will not mention by name tonight out of solidarity with these strikes. <laughs> That's right, you're seeing a George Lucas strike show. <laughs> you might ask, am I in violation of the strikes? No, because I will repeat the same joke I made last week. <laughs> I Watto am not WGA, I am not SAG, I am IP. <laughs> what you're witnessing tonight is IP theft. <laughs> Jumped off of those Disney hard drives. Here's what it is, George Lucas, and not to bring the mood of the show down, because my job is to be the worm of the comic, but I have to say something very serious and very sad. George, unfortunately, was the victim of a horrible crime. <laughs> Kidnapping. <laughs> He woke up one morning, ooh, coo, 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 coo. and he looked in his little baby basket, <laughs> and 
his beloved child was gone, stolen in the night like the Lindbergh baby. And left behind was a note that said, Dear George, thank you for signing that contract. Here are six billion dollars. Sincerely, Disney. And just like that, his child was gone. Like a thief in the night. So George needed to find a new avenue for creative expression. He said, what have I not got to flex yet for the public? My boundless charisma. <laughs> My ability to connect to any other human being in conversation. And my interest in a wide variety of subjects that have nothing to do with me and my own work. <laughs> and so the George Lucas talk show began. And that is what you're about to see after a series of very expensive self-finance test shows. It has now become a series of very expensive international non-televised talk shows. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, get ready, get ready. Oh, yeah, here, uh, what do you do if something good happens on stage? What do you do if something bad happens on stage? That was more of an interesting test. I would say maybe call the cops, but you know, on the other hand, all cops are bad. Uh, what do you do if something funny happens? Great, okay. And what do you do if I tell you all to be silent? Nope, you lose. Uh, that's enough, let's start the fucking show. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Great work. Thank you very much. Thank you for staying up late. George Lucas. He keeps the music going, he wants something to buffer his running time. Song, even dealer's choice, anything you got up on the playlist, feel free to play. Or just the music of applause, the music of the crowd, of the adoring crowd. Maybe I do this to kill time. Okay, there we go. warm-up comic slash sidekick slash flying space jewel. Uh, I want to thank you. <laughs> thank you all for coming out on this uh, beautiful Friday night. Yes, yes. Thank you for coming to Assembly Roxy George Square Studio 2 Lecture Hall 15. <laughs> uh, how many of you were here last week? <laughs> how many of you? Customers, yeah. 
How many of you are here for the first time? Uh, well, uh, we're in our, this is our second week of Fringe. Uh, been doing this play. Yes. Every day, and then this talk show is a real chance for us to blow off steam. Finally! It's so tough being in character all day. Every day for this play. And then finally I get to come up for the talk show and just be myself. Wear my normal clothes. Talk in my normal voice that does not hurt my throat at all. It's a nice chance to let off steam. Yeah. George, I don't know if you know. I, I might not. I might not know. I don't know if you know whether you know the thing I'm about to ask you if you know or not. I don't know. I don't know what you're about to ask. I saw a sign outside, a big banner. I didn't know this. It said, the assembly at George Square is sponsored by Inches Cider. Ooh. A local delicacy. Yes. And so I said, today's show, tonight's show, should be sponsored by Inches Cider. Right. You have my Watto cup full of water, but I said, Watto, water, we've been there a thousand times before. Right. So let's, uh, if we could get the Cider Boy out here, I'd like a cup of cider Bring here. Bring the Cider Boy out. Cider Boy, thank you. Agree on that. Oh, by the way, this is our producer Patrick. Hi, Hi. Uh, the cider boy. Cider boy. Hi, Patrick. How are Hi, you? Hi, George. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Okay. Are you still diabetic? Still diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this cider, so sweet, so sweet to the lips. You would love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still type one. Yeah, still type one. I got my water right here. Still type two. Got my water right here. <laughs> um. Well, let's, this part of the show should be over by now. Let's, done, let's done. go ahead and bring All on done. our guests. We got great guests tonight. We got great guests. We got two guests who are currently in the middle of successful runs of their own. Mm -hmm. Fringe show. <laughs> One person fringe show. <laughs> I know. You wouldn't know. I booked them. Uh, did you? <laughs> Patrick, you wouldn't know these guests. Okay. You'd never. You'd you never have heard know of these guests from Adam. Um, and that's embarrassing because this is supposed to be your job. Yeah, you booked them. <laughs> you booked them, Patrick. This is embarrassing. These are two of the brightest stars in comedy. For mm -hmm. them not to be on your radar this is a problem. sin. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I even understand how it's possible you could have booked them and never heard I of don't either. Going down the list. Click, click. That's it. I'm excited to meet them. Well, even a broken Patrick is right twice a day because he gets two great guests. Uh, Grogu's and Gragas, please welcome to the stage Larry Owens and Paul Chaffrey! Oh, here we go. Either way, dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. Thank you so much for being here. In spite you. of Patrick's best effort. I tried so hard. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, how has your fringe been going for both of you? What do you want? You want water? Oh, do you not? I think you have a oh, water. There's a water down there. You. Yeah, that's your Do you want mine? I'll trade. Is that my payment? I, uh, well, it's a, for, it's a gift. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> this, is the, this, this is what you get. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Larry, this is your first fringe, correct? Yes, I'm a virgin. Hey. Uh, Larry Owens live. <laughs> LOL. It is the show. It is your handle as well. On yes, yes, on all platforms. Yes. yes. Uh, and, and Paul, you, you are no virgin, right? You have been to fringe before. I uh, banged a couple of people here and there. Okay. <laughs> uh, within the fringe or, or also in general? Uh, here and there, you know. Yeah. Uh, not, not many people. You bang a lot of people here or? Here You can no, fuck someone with that nose. It's a dry spell since I got there. <laughs> Feels like the humor is not translating over here. Because <laughs> I clean up in the States. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm married, but I did quite well in my day. Really? Uh, yeah. You can say Ewok pussy. I mean, if I, if I wanted to, I could have. But I, I don't dip, dip my pen in company ink, you know what I mean? We found out the, on a recent show back in New York City. Mm -hmm. I, I will share these with the whole audience. Yeah, this is a story about me. Yes. Uh, we, had, we had the guest Amy Irving on the show. The great Amy Irving, Academy Award nominee, who was once married to Steven Spielberg. My buddy Steve. Close personal <laughs> She revealed to our audience, I think George was too embarrassed to ever tell us, was one time Steve 
Amy, George, and his girlfriend at the time, Linda Ronstadt, Ooh. all took a private plane together for a tropical vacation. And Amy said that George spent the entire six hour flight, and I quote, sucking the face. <laughs> what do you suck the face for? What about the tits? Uh, George, this is your George question. My daughter was on the plane with us. <laughs> That's why I didn't suck tits. That's the only reason. On Blue Bayou. Linda Ronstadt. It all connects. I will be finding any excuse to sing. Absolutely. As is your one. Uh, Paul, how many times have you done this uh, festival before? I've been coming up here since like 99. Wow. Wow, pre 9-11. <laughs> hey, Did it change? That was, nothing, change? That, that, that was nothing to do with me. No, it wasn't. That was nothing to I do with me was, or I my didn't, people. I didn't think it was. I'm Indian. Yes. There's nothing to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel the show's change after the two towers were gone? <laughs> the comedy change. Were we allowed to laugh again? I really... or, or was it just as funny? Well, I, I just, I just... Was it just as funny after as before? Yes. Was it funny before and then it happened and things were funnier? <laughs> just as funny or less funny? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Change after 9-11, okay. was the fringe funnier? <laughs> Same amount of funny yeah. or less funny? And there's no wrong the answer here. Well, well, I started doing the show in English after 9-11. <laughs> So it became, just to, to hide the right. fact it was yeah. Mohammed Atta and... Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. 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 Larry, do you feel like music changed after 9-11? I'm Gen Z. <laughs> so I actually don't recall. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> to be honest, I forget. Never forget. <laughs> Take a bow, Larry. Take a bow. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so how have the show's been going this year? Does this year feel different? Does it feel different than last year? Yeah, it feels very different to last year. What's different? What changed? It's a different day. Different yeah. day? <laughs> in the shadow of 2022, how does comedy feel in 2023? <laughs> It feels different. Yeah. yeah. Good feels different, bad different, or or valueless difference. Well, in the in the UK, we've got a cost of living crisis. Mm. Oh, things cost too much or too little. <laughs> I I apologize. I'm a billionaire. I don't. He lacks perspective. Cost, he lacks, he cost, knows not what he does not know. Cost of living crisis. Crisis, we call it. Yes. This is why a lot of these people are going through a hard time in the audience. Mm -hmm. Are you having trouble with money? Yeah. Raise, raise your hand if you're having trouble with money. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Raise your hand, no money trouble. Okay. A few, you like a few. two, three? Two, three, all right. Yeah. yeah, that checks out. George's crisis, he often calls me at three, four o'clock in the morning. He goes, Wato, I'm having a crisis. I don't know what to do with all this money. <laughs> it's up, I'm up to my ears in it. I can barely breathe. That's why we came here, because George had too much money. And he's yeah. like, I got I will say, I, I will say, I am significantly less wealthy now than I was before I decided to come here and do the fringe. <laughs> I, it's... Uh, well, yeah. Put it this way, uh, there were a lot more British comedians doing the fringe. Yes. Yeah. And that you guys have taken our jobs. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> You've stolen our jobs. Yeah. Do you do you notice more more Yanks come to Edinburgh now than there used to be? No, less. Le fewer. But you you're you're the, you're, the big, you're the biggest. I'm the biggest. I don't know about that. And George Lucas. Pretty big, pretty big cultural Im imprint. I still got a couple of seats empty. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you know, nobody turned away disappointed tonight. That final 2% empty seats really burns. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, you know, here's the thing, uh, like uh, reviews. Are you, do you, what do you feel about these? Because everything gets reviewed here. 
Treasure of Different. You're well reviewed. You're well reviewed. You got some four stars, five stars, five stars. Four no, and five half. stars. No, for five me. stars. You four stars. Four stars. Any four and a half? No, there's a glass ceiling for glass me. Ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. What is? It? What? I'm grateful. I'm grateful. <laughs> four stars. Some debut. people have zero stars. <laughs> Now, yes, I, I, don't, I don't know if there are any reviewers here tonight. If there are, can we get a five just so Larry can get the five? Yeah. I don't think that's too much to ba ask. Ba babe, yeah, that's so sweet, but I don't need hand-me-downs. Hand no handouts, thank you. No, but you'd be, you'd be getting us the five. Because this show right now, our glass ceiling is at four and a half. We got a four and a half. And I just thought, what did we do? What did we, what do, did we do to lose that half star? Yeah. Yeah. What did we do wrong? Yeah. But here's the thing. The four star is great because when you put it up, it looks like it could be all of the stars. <laughs> no, no, like when you no, put no, the no, four star no. up, you're like, is it, was yeah. that the most? Yeah. <laughs> it, it has a good feeling. You have some five stars. Yeah, well, what did you get when you were making films? Well, here's, here's the thing. Okay, so we've, we've, been, we've been doing, we've been, I, some of the, you know, it's I- a was, perfect setup. It's a you perfect have no setup. idea. It's a perfect setup. So it's been a mix. I've been nominated for Best Picture, and then I have other things that have gotten 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> we're doing this play, The Baron and the Junk Dealer, and we're very nervous because uh, we want to get that four-star, five-star mm -hmm. review. And we it's get a very risky, dramatic work. We're putting ourselves out on a limb here doing these shows. So The Scotsman. Ever, anyone read The Scotsman? <laughs> yes, that's a big, but important paper to write. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're in Scotland. The Scotsman himself is coming <laughs> to review our play. The titular role. We know the Scotsman is in the audience tonight. So we pull out all of our best work, our best moves. We really give it our all. Yes. And I want to bring up the, the first image, the number one image from the Scotsman. Three stars. Yeah, three, three stars. stars. It was a good review. He was a little bit begrudging of the words you could pull. He said it was amusing. Yeah. Which, when you're funny, you don't want that. Amusing is sort of like a way of being like, well, that's cute. Yeah. So I, I got curious. I thought, well, what has previous work that is either mine or adjacent to mine gotten in The Scotsman? The Lucasfilm move. Right? Yeah. So I, I looked up uh, Red Tails, one of the last uh, films that I produced <laughs> in The Scotsman. Next slide, please. Three stars. Three stars. <laughs> All right, directed by the great Anthony Hemingway. This is a film about the Tuskegee Airmen that I produced. Three stars. So I thought, well, let's move on. What's the next thing that I could find in here? The next one I brought up, The Last Jedi, three stars. I said, what's next? What's next? Solo, three stars. Three stars. What's next? What's next? Rise of Skywalker, three stars. What's next? Dial of Destiny, three stars. So what I realize now is I need not worry about any of this. The Scotsman has a threshold, a glass ceiling. A glass ceiling. They will give neither more, no more, no less than three stars to any George Lucas adjacent project. And, and it's, I mean, that's practically peer reviewed in the sense that you all saw that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a definite vendetta against your work. Have you ever gotten a three-star review, oh, either of you? We've got every... I've had one, two, one. three, four, and five. One is low. They were mad at you. It was a, it was a cancelling review. Oh, no. You, they said you said things you shouldn't have said. In their opinion. In their opinion. That's but. right. <laughs> these, aren't si these aren't scientists. <laughs> certain point of view. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was true from a certain point of view. Yeah. yeah. To their point of view. Larry, yeah. have you ever gotten a one star review? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glass floor, too. <laughs> well, it's not glass, it's concrete. Uh, honey, when you look like me, you must be this tall to ride, okay? Um, the Scotsman is, is my Rotten Tomatoes, though, so yeah. They, the Scotsman, is the Scotsman, are they tough? Is he a tough guy? <laughs> Any Scotsman here tonight? <laughs> Is the Scotsman, did the Scotsman, because the Scotsman has reviewed this show, just the play. Yeah. Is the yeah. Scotsman here? Is the Scotsman in the house? This might be something where they, like, can't say. Oh. It's like the opposite of a police officer. If you're here, I dare you to give us five. <laughs> I dare you to give us more stars than you've given any Lucasfilm production in the past yeah. 15 years. You it is the best thing with George Lucas's name attached to it in history. <laughs> Does it, does you want to get a one or a four or a five because people want to see a one star show. Oh, people, yeah, what could this be? This is going to be bad. Yeah. That is so, what is surprising about the slides uh, George just showed. It's, let's just say it 
Last Jedi, a fairly divisive movie. Mm -hmm. People tend to go like four, five, or one of two, mm -hmm. you know? No one's saying, eh, straight down the middle, yeah. didn't really think yeah. much of it either way. They're straight three stars. Nobody wants a three-star three review. No, it's, it's terrible. Average. average. Yeah. At your average. How do, how do we feel? I'll be honest, my feelings get hurt by these. Crush. Do your feelings get hurt by negative reviews, or does it power you? Do you draw strength from it? I have no history with negative reviews. <laughs> so I can't speak personally, but I hope it? it up to the floor. Yeah. Larry, would it if you got one? I don't really deal in hypotheticals. <laughs> um, I'm fact-based. Um, Larry, would you say that you draw your strength primarily from excellence? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question without an answer. <laughs> and yet I have asked it. <laughs> and yet I still ponder. Larry, we went to see your show earlier this week, and your show it involves a tremendous amount of energy. Uh -huh. It is just wall-to-wall, -wall, uh, characters, emotions, songs, dancing. I, how, do, how do you keep it? What is your routine? How, how are you surviving through the fringe? This is a genuine question. <laughs> I sleep a lot, like 12 hours. Oh, oh wow, nice. Paul, what's your sleep schedule? 12 hours. 12 hours. Is that what we're not doing? <laughs> I mean, I'm It doing... feels like Wado's been sleeping 12 hours. You and I, I don't think have. Oh, a fair amount. Okay, yeah. well, maybe it's me. <laughs> Wado needs his beauty sleep. Patrick, you slept the other day and then woke up and your neck was fucked up. <laughs> you injured yourself sleeping. So yeah. maybe you need to sleep less. Patrick, Patrick didn't like the pillows where we're staying, mm -hmm. so he went to the grocery store. And bought a bag of rocks. <laughs> Seemingly. I bought additional pillows. I said, if I have one pillow that's bad, that's not good. If I have three pillows that are okay, that'll be fine. Well, and just... I've been in pain for two and a half days. Yeah. Does anyone here buy their pillows at Tesco? <laughs> I just want to know, because I never, I, I never heard of anyone buying pillows at a grocery store when Patrick did it. I thought, good for him. Yeah. They must have been so thrilled. We sold the pillows. We sold the pillows. Like, whoever it was at that Tesco that ordered the pillows in probably has been getting grief for years. Why did you order these pillows in? We're a grocery store. You know, it's funny we should mention the pillows had a promotional tie-in with Star Wars. They had a little sticker at the bottom that said Return of the Jedi in theaters this summer, 1983. <laughs> I'm saying they had not sold the pillows for 40 years. I don't, I don't like you touching me so much. 40 years! I, I'm a little uncomfortable. Mm. Um, all of this talk about movies and theater. See, I'm a card-carrying member of two unions. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, SAG and the WGN. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. So, um, can I get a disclaimer at the bottom of this YouTube video? Sure. Well, That I do not condone any films. <laughs> Look! I hate film. Okay. Hey. I don't even know how to spell the word film. So far, I will say, uh, I, I have a complicated relationship with unions and guilds. Uh, I will say, I think because I mentioned only three-star reviews, it counts as criticism because it's not promoting them. Who wants to right. see a three-star film? Nobody. Uh, and Wado, and then, Wado and, was promoting the pillows. More yes, than but that, that's, that's also criticism I because if the pillows haven't sold in 40 years, it reflects poorly that's on the true. film. Yes. Um, but, Patrick, will you bleep out all of the struck work that's been mentioned before you upload this to you? Sure, sure, don't ask. Tell. Tell. Patrick, bleep out all the struck work that's been mentioned before this goes up to YouTube. Sure. All right? Sure. I am in the WGA, sort of. I'm FICOR. That's not a character. <laughs> FICOR does sound like a character, but it means I pay dues but I don't have to follow any of the rules and I can never run for office in the guild. And uh, <laughs> wonderful punishment. Uh, but I don't have to respect strikes. I could write for General Hospital if I wanted to right now. I could write for, that's a daytime soap. Um, and I dropped out of the DGA. I don't even remember if I was SAG when, I, when I've done, I think I did just enough cameos that I didn't have to join. I don't remember. You're a cameo now. What? 
Cameo. I should be on Cameo. So you can do birthday shout outs. I would. Happy, yeah, happy birthday. You have a birthday soon. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Do you want me to do a Cameo for you right yeah, now for free? Me, yeah. What do you want me to say? Say happy birthday, Paul Chowdhury. Thanks for coming to do the Star Wars. Okay, I'm not going to mention <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm a member of Equity, so we're not part of that. Just... All right. Okay. But I'm not going to. Exactly. All right. Yeah. All right so uh, so the Cameo is not part of the strike. No, you can do as many cameos really? as you want. Just don't use them to promote, like... A so movie. make a film on cameo. I mean, I, oh. I have. No one's bought any of them. I do them under a different name. No one's looked them up. Okay, wait, I got an idea. Yeah. So, Paul, you're equity, right? Okay, so, George, you do the cameo, uh. but then point to Paul every time you would reference this specific. Okay. And you're allowed to say this stuff. He'll say everything else. All right. Okay? Uh... Hi, Paul. Happy birthday. I'm retired filmmaker George Lucas, uh, I, 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 creator of... <laughs> I, wrote, I, I, I directed... That film. Uh, I, hope you, I hope you're having a great birthday. Oh, um, um, and uh, that's it. That's the end of the cameo. Do you what? want me to say anything else? That cost me 5,000 no. pounds. <laughs> Guess what? I'm going to give it to you gratis. Oh, you'd never do that. No, I would. I'm generous. Here's the thing. I'm bad with unions and guilds, but I'm a good boss. I pay people well. When I made... Uh... That film? Yeah. <laughs> I, gave, I gave the actors points in the film after it became a big hit, even though I didn't need to. Like, right at the point where most business people would say, oh, no, 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 it's a hit. I keep all the money. I said, hey, cast, you're part of the reason why this film is a hit. This is a clue. It was one of the films I made that had good acting in it. <laughs> You can narrow it down a little, right? <laughs> Celebrating a 50th anniversary this month. Um, I think that's a load of bollocks. Why? Because the guy who did, the, you know, who played Luke Skywalker and... Uh, uh, Mark Hamill? Yeah, he started doing the Joker's voice in He's the great cartoon. At that. Yeah. Because he never made any money through you. No, no, that's not true. He made plenty of money. You ripped him off. No, no, no. He made He's plenty suicidal. Of... No, no, he loves... The other, the other one died. Who? That, the, 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 the other one with the... Uh, Alec, Alec Guinness? That's yeah, not my yeah. fault. He was terrible. <laughs> This on me. I didn't do it. He was going to die. He wasn't going to die. He was. He was fine when he was, he was filming. He was going to die. Yes, it's true. He made the films and then he died. Please. Uh, correlation is not causality. I, I feel like Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. The reason that Mark Hamill went into voice acting is because that is a better gig. You, when you're working Wait, on... He, he did the biggest film of all time with you. Yeah. You fucked him. I didn't fuck him. <laughs> I didn't fuck him. Well, he, Alec Guinness didn't fuck him. He died. Yeah. Alec, I didn't fuck Alec Guinness either. You fucked Alec Guinness. I that's didn't. why he died. I was in the wrong step. He did The voiceover gigs are... This is a, this is a secret uh, within the industry. If you do voiceover, if you're doing a film or TV show, you gotta show up, no matter who you are, you gotta show up way early in the morning, you wait, you sit in a makeup chair, you get your hair done, you get the costume, you wait, you wait, you wait, and then when they film, the light's gotta be right, the sound's gotta be right, the everything's gotta I've be right. I've been in films, yes, I know. I know, some of these people have not been they, in films. They've watched, they've watched films. They've watched films, but like, it's not like <laughs> bleep that or anything. <laughs> Not all of them understand. It's really boring and time consuming yeah, really to boring. make, because even if you're the star, all the other things in the shot have to all work. So even if you're the biggest star in the world, you're still relying on all these other things. When you do voice acting work, the studio time is valuable. They don't want to waste it on people. So they, they will allot a time for you. You come in and everything is about you. Everything is about getting your work. Your take. Let's try it again. Let's do a fun one. And every time you do a fun one, people are like, oh my goodness, Larry, that was so great. Paul, that was so great. Oh, that was wonderful, right? Am I right? Why am I in it? <laughs> because in this hypothetical, I would have cast you both. What, because as, as what character? As two really well-written <laughs> characters. What, what, what They're two like? what, what, Okay, what, 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 all right. Okay, I'm I'm well, five well, core. I'm five core, so I can write. So pencils up for me. Pencils up. Okay. Well, what do we? First of all, what kind of project would you be interested in doing? Same Star Wars. Who would be yeah. playing Star Wars? Yeah. Okay. Uh, two best friends. <laughs> two best friends who find a treasure. 
They find a hidden treasure on a planet that is made of cloth. A cloth planet. It's all fabric. It's all like the instead of instead of grass or ice or rocks, it's all just like Catches and swatches of fabric. It's, it's like a, a Michelle Gondry planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just, you just, that's the plot line to Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin. You were saying because I look like this, I'm going to be an Aladdin. Because I look like this, I'm going to be an Aladdin. No. <laughs> pivot, pivot, George, the, pivot. Yeah. <laughs> the genie I, famously I, a I, slave I, to Aladdin. George, pivot! <laughs> Yeah, no, no, leave it out, but the, the magical, uh, whatever you like, yeah, yeah. whatever you like. Yeah, yeah. yeah, based after Cab Cab, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yes. I think this collaboration is working really well. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for the first time in a while. Are we, are we down to do this? Now look what you've done. So we're we're George, we lost the guy. Are, was our show not good enough? That's not the wrong way that you're in the show. The you back back going the backstage. <laughs> Oh, that was right. backstage. Was yes, right. yes, yes. Oh, we lost the Scotsman. Get her! Get her! <laughs> oh, that was just the plot line to the racist Aladdin. Always bring your bag on stage. Yep. Yep. First of all, I don't. Aretha think... Franklin taught me that. He saw he was going backstage. I don't think Aladdin took place on a cloth. Pot. I am going to get my sad card taken away. Why? Oh, you're not. Why? Why? Because we're talking about. An ancient fable. <laughs> Aladdin on Broadway is what we're talking about. Oh. Aladdin on Broadway. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to believe that one. I do, I do have a history of writing characters that some people have taken issue with. <laughs> Why are you looking at so me? If we really, I'm looking at both of you. Watch this. My eyes are going to dart back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and yeah. back and forth. I mean, really, you should be looking at me while you're saying Go on. <laughs> Explain it yourself. <laughs> listen, we all learn and grow. We do the work. We listen. <laughs> we listen. Yeah. By the way, thanks for making me work on Sabbath, George. <laughs> Be respectful. In, Shabbat in, shalom. In, in, fairness, Thank you. in fairness, this show has almost always been on a Friday night. And I've never liked it. <laughs> I said, keep the lights off. <laughs> Is that a Jewish guy? Wait, well, uh, yeah, you know big what? Time, big time. <laughs> Yeah. He, he's he's wishy-washy about it, but I know. I do apologize for giving you the absolute worst Sabbath goy in the world to help you out. Is that me? Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what that means. You're supposed to help Watto out so he doesn't have to work equipment, hold the mic oh, for him, yeah, stuff like that. To... Yeah, get me another cider, too. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I think there's one backstage. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing, though. That's the thing for people who are very uh, uh, or, or serious in the practice of the Sabbath. Yeah. They, they need the goy to follow them around and push the buttons. Yeah. That's the genie. Cider boy. Yes. Larry, I played the genie in middle school. On stage. So on we're stage. still talking about stage yes, production. Stage production. On stage. Yeah. Stage. Let's see a on little stage. of it. One, two, a one, two, three. Oh, four. Baba had them for it. I couldn't sing, Larry. So they said, here's what you can do just talk your way through the song. That is true. So you were playing a black character <laughs> well, and rapping? <laughs> You were rapping as a black character in I mean, middle school? I mean, he was blue. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, blue. oh how dare you. Uh, yeah. I don't oh, no. think you're losing. George, we're losing another one. <laughs> okay. Okay. She'll be there. She I said she it. loves this. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Stage crashing. Chad, head down the stairs and find it. Thank you so much, Stanley. Thank you so much. What, did you call me Stanley? Did she think you're Stanley? I'm Kubrick. Or Stanley. Stanley. Yeah, maybe. Was she on the plane as well? When? At the beginning of the show. What plane? 
You were talking about that thing earlier when you went. Oh, the play? Or no, the play? Oh, no, the play. On the suck face play. You talk about. Oh, no, no, was no. That one of the extras. Oh, that, no, no. no, that was decades ago when I was on that airplane. There's a long. George is married now. Yeah, married. So who was that then? Just an audience member who had to go to the bathroom. And almost went on stage. <laughs> yeah. Because it wasn't part of the show. No, it's not part of the show. This is part of the show. This is now part of the show. Yeah. It became part of the show. <laughs> Why problem. did you go up to her, though, like that? What? Why did you walk up to her? Like Why didn't I walk up to well, her? No, you walked right up to her. Like I that. wanted to make sure she didn't go to the bathroom backstage. That's just the truth. I thought she was going to go to the bathroom on stage. Yes. Exactly. That would know. have been better for the show. Maybe. Maybe that's what that fifth star is for. <laughs> yeah. I hope you like that, Scotsman. <laughs> Uh, Paul, every time you come here, have you come with a different show? Yeah. Yes. And is there one that you feel like was, was the best of the run? Yeah. Yeah, which was the one that felt like your peak up until now? Sorry? Which show did you feel like, which year did you feel like you were holding a hot hand? Oh, 2023. Yeah, baby, good answer. This year. Good answer. This year, yeah, this is my best show today. I tried to get into your show and they said I couldn't. Why not? No, no, Probably because you're no. an anti sea mite. <laughs> no, my best friend is Steven Spielberg. My best friend. That's not like saying some of my best friends are. My best friend is Steven Spielberg. My best friend was Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> oh, my condolences. <laughs> guess, guess, why I, guess why I finished um, name, uh, name a. Drop it. No. Uh, 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 the, a, a, there was a dinosaur movie that my buddy Steve was doing, and he's like, I don't have time to finish this. Oh, I've because... seen the porno version, Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> I genuinely don't like that. We, we were talking about this recently. George has, has a real hit and miss relationship with parodies of his work. I love right? parodies. I love parodies. I don't like porn parodies. He does not like the porn parodies of his own work. And I think he feels the same way when they parody his friend's works with the sex. But also, George, what did your, how did your biographer refer to you? Uh, sexually unadventurous. <laughs> but that, that, he wasn't on the plane. <laughs> I think a six six hour face sucking is pretty adventurous. Um, I don't know. What you don't? That's first base. <laughs> yeah, but it's really digging into first base. It's like, it's like where the base go? It's way down there. This guy's really going to first base. Yeah, but you're just knocking on the door. <laughs> yeah, but what a knock. <laughs> yeah. Are you still, are you, still fr you you had a good relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. No, different plane, no. different no. plane. In different fact, plane. he's one of the few who did. Yeah, yeah. Really? Check your facts. <laughs> Listen, I was helping my buddy Steve. He was like, I have a dinosaur movie to finish, but I need to make my Holocaust movie. Will you finish dinosaur movies so I can make Holocaust movie? And I said, yes, Steve, I will finish dinosaur movie so that you can make Holocaust movie. I think that makes me a pretty good guy. <laughs> when you bleep out all of the film titles, yeah, yeah. can you pixelate my face <laughs> as well? Nice. Don't distort my voice. I didn't say any film titles there. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. I think Larry just means in general. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I mean... I made a musical. That was one of the last things. I won't say what it's, the, it's called, but I made a musical. And by the way, if he said what it was called, it still would not turn in any better. Yeah. Yeah. I would know it. You would I know it? I don't yes. know if you would. I, here, Larry, come here. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Are you groaning because you like that movie? You liked it too much. <laughs> yeah. It, it for a long time held the record for the lowest box office opening for an animated film in over 3,000 screens. That's right. Yeah. It didn't make a lot of money. No. 
But so, it, it was yeah. inspired by George's iPod. <laughs> yeah, I had like I had like almost 200 songs on my iPod. <laughs> that's genuine. That's genuine. Almost, not quite. Almost, almost 200 songs. I said, why don't we use some of these, <laughs> like a jukebox musical? And we did. And pe and almost 200 people came to see that movie. <laughs> Strange magic. Who else? Strange magic. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. This is my show, by the way, every night. So you've seen the movie. When I said Strange Magic, it was the song title. Yeah. No, that's yeah. the theme well, that's song. Well, the, that's in the movie. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, it's the song title. George, your friend's back. Welcome back. Hey. hey. Thank you for coming back. How you was your piss? Did, did you <laughs> what color? Amber? Clear? It was good. It was good? It was great. Thank you. What she did you call shit. me before? Did you call me Stanley before? <laughs> Give me shit. Like, wait, wait. Wait, did you call me? You... No. Okay. <laughs> we have it. We have it on tape. No, no. We will find out. I, I don't know that we'll hear it. Okay. It'll be very off mic. You yeah. went off mic. Way off mic. No. Yeah. Larry, well, are... you were in a you were in a musical that had strange in the title. Yes. Yeah. So we both have we have that in common. We do. Yeah. The strange loop. Strange loop. Yeah. <laughs> In in would daddy sucking dick all Saturday morning. Sucking cock. Okay. <laughs> so I took some artistic liberties. I don't like that word. Because I picture a chicken. And then it takes me out of it. <laughs> what do you have against chicken? Not my dick. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what do I have against chicken? Yeah. And your response was not, not my dick. dick. Yeah. yeah, I don't rub my dick up against chicken. I don't think that's a controversial statement. What, is that? <laughs> what do you mean? George? Oh, 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 oh. She's going to get a chicken. Hey. Hey. He's, going, he's, going, he's going to get you a chicken. Oh, well... We'll see what happens. Larry, are you, uh, how do you protect yourself from not losing your voice while doing a long run like I this? sleep 12 That's hours. That's it. That's I it. These questions. But it's not, but you don't, you don't drink tea. You don't just not talk for the whole day. It's just sleep. Sleep becomes not talking. Yeah. Sort of a backdoor entry to not talking. Patrick, are there any other questions I ask that you want to rephrase? Yeah. <laughs> did, you know, did you know that George's last movie was a musical? I cannot talk about film. <laughs> but we can talk about knowledge. Yes, yes. No, I mean, uh, and just like vocal health, since everyone really cares about that tonight. Yes, at yes. yes. Um, uh, me, I, I, it, for me, it's a muscle, so I would rather train and like beat up yeah. my muscles so that I can endure anything rather than being precious about it. So go, I go out, I do shows at 11.35 p.m. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I hang out, you know, and, and really it's, 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 it's all about, it's a, it's a brain thing. He's born in the 90s, though, so he's got the energy. 90s energy. 90s. Got that 90s energy. Yeah. Only 90s kids will understand. Yeah. <laughs> George has got that 40s energy. Yeah. I'm going to have that 90s energy in about 11 years. <laughs> I can't wait. It's, I'm so excited. Uh, Paul, are there sort of favorite rituals of the fringe for you? Are there things you look forward all year to being here? Rituals. Uh, Rituals. Or like sacrifices. Yes. yes. Are there ritualistic yeah. sacrifices yeah. you make every year yeah, for yeah. your new uh, show? Uh, yeah, yes. we normally like fuck a chicken. Okay. <laughs> oh, George. I don't do that. Oh. <laughs> Four stars. <laughs> <laughs> you get five stars in this costume if you bang a chicken. I'm sure you would. I'm, that guy loves it. Yeah. <laughs> On stage pissing and chicken fucking. All right, kind of <laughs> you two hallmarks of a five star. <laughs> uh, what, what are the things you like to do in town? when you're done fucking a chicken. Just give the chicken back. <laughs> and who owns the chicken? The Scotsman. <laughs> oh, it's the Scotsman's Ooh. chicken. Yeah. That... A new wrinkle. You see, the... <laughs> you see the building, it's on the bridge. Yeah. The... <laughs> I can't. Just through the curtain. Though. 
<laughs> I thought your special effects could do that. Yeah, in post, CGI, not yeah. during, not during production. We can add that after, after the... Oh, I see it. <laughs> yeah, describe it now that I've turned my back to it again. Chicken's there on the third floor. All right. <laughs> like nice chickens, isn't it? <laughs> Paul, what frightens you? <laughs> I think me. I think I frightened Paul. <laughs> there, you think you frightened Paul? I think I frightened Paul. Is that true, Paul? We can confirm it right now. At least if he's. Are you brave? When I met Paul backstage, we did an elbow bump, and then he immediately hand sanitized. <laughs> So the logic of that, <laughs> for me. I didn't elbow sanitize though, I kept the elbow hasn't been sanitized. Yes, the elbow will never be washed again. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a sweater condom, so. You, in fact, you were against my elbow with your sweater on. You didn't take your sweater off to mm. do the elbow. Okay, we need oh. to make a correction. Let's do it straight. <laughs> can we do it, can we do, redo the elbow bump here? Can we do it on stage? Do you have your... Sanitizer? Patrick, you want to go get the sanitizer? Yeah, I don't know where it is. What? I don't know where it is. You don't know where it is? I bet you can find it. You're a clever boy. <laughs> it's in my bag just next to the chicken. Oh, great. Yeah, I know where the chicken is. And while you're at it, um, grab me a beer. I'll work on it. Uh, and Patrick, get another cider, please. Now we can talk about whatever we want. Wow. Oh, okay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Now that it's just us. Yes. Yes. What do you think of Patrick? <laughs> like, first impression. Yeah, like, what kind of vibes you get? Interesting. Just right there. Oh, welcome oh. back. Hey. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, what, the, what was your first impression of Patrick? Yeah. Very hostile. Yeah, right? <laughs> Larry, what do you think? I was getting aggro vibes, too. Yes, and you've met him before. There's a history, and it's consistent. Every time I feel threatened. Yes, <laughs> clenched fist, right? Yes, furrowed brow. Yes. Tight mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. I don't see any beverages. Yeah, where's my There were no beverages back there. There's no bar backstage. Down the downstairs. downstairs. I don't have my wallet. Apple pay. I know my phone is filming the show. Wado, you have a phone. I... <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm glad we have a record of this. <laughs> Why? To just see how Patrick refuses to help. <laughs> He'll come up with any excuse. What do we want? What do we want? But then when prodded, suddenly he snaps ah! you want, you want a, a cider, please. One me. cider? Paul, do you want something to drink? I'm all right, man, but why is your chair so much higher than mine? Because I'm the host of the show and I pick the other chairs. Okay. <laughs> why do I look so small compared to everyone else? Well, I'm bigger. You're on a cushion. You're, you're musclier, but I'm, I'm bigger. No, bitch, my ass is a cushion. I'm thicker like a snicker, okay? <laughs> yes, we call it cake where I'm from. <laughs> yeah, we have some fans out there. George, you like chocolate. Yes, follow this, yes, follow yes. this, follow this. I wasn't going to bring this up, but yes. I, don't worry, I was going to. You like chocolate. Yes, I do, but I'm diabetic. Uh, type two, so I have to be careful. Talk to me. Uh, well, when we, did you discover that you like chocolate? I've always liked chocolate. Women? Yes. I'm referencing your wife. Yes, Melody Hobson, my wife. Yes, who is... Fine. <laughs> and... Rich. <laughs> and... A proud black woman. <laughs> yes, Scotland, go off Scotland! Yeah. Yeah, what about it? I don't want you. Well, no, I said, what about I it? want you. Hey, hey. In the blue, <laughs> by you. No, 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 no. What do you think? Five, six and a half? Five and a half, six and a half? It is soft. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's blasted. Oh, you're showing. It is. Oh, you grow. 
Yeah, it can grow under the right circumstances. It can't <laughs> never get back with the third insider. Oh, Watto got that riz. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, so what are you up to later tonight? Many things. No, no, you and I are going to paint the town blue. <laughs> right? <laughs> what do you think I should do? This, this alien's coming on to me really Paul, strong. Paul, We're best friends. Paul, I'm so close. <laughs> what do I do? I'm so nervous. It did it in Star Trek. Do you remember that, uh, that episode with Star, uh, with Ultimate Wrong Star guy. Trek? <laughs> no, you, get very triggered. you get very triggered by that. Not triggered, just like you're, trying, you're barking up the wrong tree. I got nothing for you here, buddy. But that was the first ever alien pum pum. Who's the first one? Alien pum pum. What? Alien pum pum. Alien pom pom? Alien pum pum. Or a pom pom? A pom pom. A pom pom? What is a pom pom? You're not giving any. A pom pom. Like alien pom pom. Remember, he, he banged that. 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 That blue one. You might have been related to her. Yeah, no, I was. She's a cousin, twice removed. Pom pom? <laughs> Alien pum pum. Are you, are you just saying the word porn twice? No, like porn porn? Pum pum. pum. In, in Britain, we call them pum pums. Pum pum? I she, need she to just verify it. All right. Uh, what's what, the... what do you call it? I mean, I don't want to, because I don't want to, because yeah, I don't want to trigger anyone. Well, what's the, spell it out for me so I can understand. P U M P U M. P U M. P U M. P U M. Pum pum. Alien pum pum. Pum pum. Okay, because I was hearing P O M. P O M. Yeah. All right, and what's that mean? This is Jamaican patois for... For pornography? No. <laughs> for for, for pum pum. For sexual activity. For sexual activity? No. For non-sexual activity? No. <laughs> what's it, what kind of act, non-activity or no, activity? No, it's, it's, it's a genital area. Genital area is the pum pum? For uh, somebody of the female persuasion. Oh. 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 All right, that third base? <laughs> well, it depends what planet you're from. Yeah. yeah. No. No, for me, that's home. That's home. Yes. <laughs> so wait, what's going to happen with you two later? I don't know. We got to untangle this. I think everyone in the audience can feel it. Yeah, there's right? definitely like an energy. Yes. Yeah, how does dating work where you're from? Mm -hmm. Oh, New York? Uh... <laughs> such a fast, you know, everyone's zooming this way and that way. People these days are ethically non-monogamous. You know this, the kids, uh, they say the ethically non-monogamous. Polyamorous, it's called polyamorous. Yes, you can... but, they, but they like to say ethically. E-N-M. No, it's got nothing to do with the ethnics. But that's what, yeah. no, not that, not that. That's a good, that's a good ethnic, ethnic. Not yeah. that. Hooray! Job. Oh, no. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, we're talking about ethical, ethical, non-monogamous. Ethical. Yeah. Ethical. Yeah. yeah. It's called polyamorous. Yeah. Polyamorous. Yes, many words. Yeah. Many words. Yeah. So there's E N M. I found it I L M. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure we're keeping it all correct. Ooh, I see a light. That means the show is almost done. Okay. I'm so bad at this. I rarely see the light, yeah. and then we go too long, and then people are mad. Last but week I we got yelled it. at. Why? Because we went too long. So last yeah. week we got yelled at. So, so let's say we're in the final, what, 300 seconds, 500 seconds? What do sure. we want to say? Anything could happen. Yes. Uh, so we're in the home stretch. Uh, oh, hey, hey. Okay. Remember these from New York City with the comics too? <laughs> what the fuck? What was that shit? <laughs> this, is thing. this is the thing. The well, comics you, you too. Whip, comics in America, you whip them and shit. Yeah, people just go on stage and they're like, what else, what else, what else? <laughs> anyway, it's a pleasure to be here at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Oh, look at that alien booty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And they do this thing. Where they hold the mic like this. Where, where, where do you stand on mic technique, Paul? Yeah. Uh, mic technique is very important. Yes. You ever do this, where you make a point, and then you go... <laughs> <laughs> I see people do that sometimes. You, you, that's what Chappelle does. He does.
funny. I love when you like reference dick. It's like, yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, so did the pants. He went, punk. <laughs> it didn't make a sound. So you can do lots of this as a mic. You can use it for so many things. Yeah, well, what do, what do you like to do? What do you yeah, what's your favorite mic trick? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can say, you know, they had, he had his dick out, and then you can just do the mm-hmm. funny. That's funny. I like that. Yes. Funny. That's good comedy. I like that. Yeah. And the tip fell out. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes. A floppy. Floppy tip. Right. Floppy uh-huh. tip. Uh-huh. Yes. I smashed my own tooth off with that joke once. Yeah. Did you really? Which uh, tooth? Uh, the front of that. My front? Uh, yeah. So is that real it, or is that? It grew back. It grew back? <laughs> it's remarkable. Yeah, I, I smashed it off. Yeah. I smashed it off one night. And you ever do like an eye out of the socket? Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Is that one that, do the comics do that? You put it but back in. in. England, you what? Some of you the... put it back in. Yeah, it's my eyeball. <laughs> put it back in. Where else am I going to put it? In my pocket? What a dumb thing to say. I, thank you for the drink stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some, some guys over here put the mic up their ass for some jokes. What it's do they... a French festival. French really? festival. And when the, what, then what do people hear? And what does it sound like? What's that sound like? They just put the mic up your ass. <laughs> THX? Yeah. That's what that is. That's what the sound was. You think up the butthole sounds like THX? <laughs> what are you never knew what that noise was? That's what it is. Yeah, the audience is listening. Up your ass. Yeah. It's a good sound, though. It's a great sound. That sounds like one of your movies. Thank you. <laughs> it's so nice of you to say. I've been a fan for years. I didn't ask Larry, do you like my movies? Wait, is that... Da, da. Nah. Oh, who is that? Yeah. That, that was Superman. Oh. Da, 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 da. You're pretty close. It sounds good. Da, ba, ba, ba. No. Which one are you doing? Well, I can't talk about movies. No, but you can I sing. Am. You can sing. You can sing. You can sing. WGA and SAG. You can sing. But you can cool. sing. Ass cap's not on strike. Ass cap's not on strike. <laughs> Ass cap's not on strike. <laughs> we can sing whatever we want. We can sing. Uh, we can you sing. Have to, you have to pay PRS in this country. That's right. Are we good with paying PRS? <laughs> the venue pays it, right? No, no, you pay it. I pay it? Yeah, How many millions? <laughs> not a lot of, I hope not a lot of millions. Depends what we sing. Depends what we sing. Is this true? You get 30 seconds. We get 30 oh, seconds. No, you don't. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure go. that person who, who yelled that out. Guy? Who are you? A copyright lawyer, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Sounded pretty definitive. So are you saying that for the next 30 seconds before we end the show, we can sing anything we want? I can't. One, I can't two, three. Oh, say into me, baby. I was just singing NWA. <laughs> it's great. What, is, what does that stand for? Oh boy, Larry. I don't want to believe anything else, Larry. <laughs> uh, let's plug our shows so that people, I mean, your show is selling out. Do you still want to plug it? Yeah, I've got to still, plug I've got the show. Why am I here? You're here to promote, we're here to move some tickets. Yeah. <laughs> is that why I'm here? Yeah. I thought I was going to be in your next movie. Yeah, you are. I am retired, so it's not going to be released. <laughs> like, it's just going to... It's just for me. My show, my show is called Family Friendly Comedian at the Pleasance Courtyard every day with extra shows added. How many times a day? 10, 15 times a day. Whoa! It's a children's show. It's a children's it's a children's show. It's for children. For children. And, this, uh, is, this is going to really help get the kids in. It will. <laughs> is there anyone here who's a kid? <laughs> You're oh. sort of a kid? How old? 16. We, we thought we were litigated this last time. Was that you? No. 
That's you again? Yeah. Great, thank you. You shaved since then because we criticized you for being 16 with a beard? I didn't fall yeah. for it for one second. Yeah, this person identified as a child last week and had a full beard. <laughs> and has since, has since changed up their tactics. That's a 16 year old. That's a 16 year old. You're gonna come next week in a diaper. <laughs> These guys Benjamin buttoning hard. <laughs> But that's, a, no, that's a Scottish 16 year old. Yeah, that They're was the exact people. joke that got made last week, wasn't it? <laughs> oh boy, sorry. Because over here, the, the average age is about 25, so that's quite an old man here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Larry, promote away. Oh, thank you so much. I um, do a show every night. It's called Larry Owens Live at the Assembly Roxy upstairs. Uh, did I say 835? You did now. <laughs> now you have said it. It's, it, it, it's fun. You should. You should come. Everyone should come see both of these shows. Uh, we are doing the Baron and the Junk Dealer uh, every day except the 15th at 1755, which is 5.55 p.m. A very serious play. A very serious drama that you can come see if you enjoy great theater. Two, the, two of us immersed in characters, nothing like the characters you've seen on stage tonight. The Scotsman gave it three stars. Don't. Uh, the Scotsman said, this is as good as The Last Jedi. <laughs> Take that as you will. Uh, and at the end of the month, uh, I will be doing uh, four shows of George Prov, an, an improvised theatrical experience. These are one-person shows that I've already recorded in a motion capture studio, but they will be improvised. I basically spent a week doing improv in Murren County, uh, and then we just you, we just plug it in and project it. It's a very thin premise. Yes. Uh, also, we have you want to plug posters? Is I do want to plug. Yeah, we posters. have po signed posters for sale. This of poster the that George Brown on his shirt. Uh, the three of us have signed them. Allegra, where are you? Here. Allegra's back there. She's going to be outside. She's a regular applause for Allegra. Yeah. Allegra, Allegra. 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 One of the creators of uh, one of the producers of this show, and also uh, one of the creators of Fringe Beat magazine. Yeah. Which we're on the cover of. But uh, if, if you like this show at all, grab a poster because look, this trip was not cheap and uh, those posters help. That's it. All right, and Water, do you have anything else to plug? Uh, yes, uh, happy Sabbath. <laughs> One Turn off your lights. And may the force be with you.